Hello everybody, I am Ananya Mitra and I will be presenting to you the basic concepts of Python. Then gradually we will be learning various concepts such as lists, dictionaries, tuples, then numpy, mongodb, Python is almost endless you know. So it does not matter and you do not have to take any tension if you are not from a computer field and you're just here to explore a new passion or maybe you are already familiar with previous uh, computer languages such as C, C++ and you are here to learn a new language, uh, get better at programming, doesn't matter. We are going to learn everything right from the beginning and uh, we'll gradually go in depth into this into into Python all right all right so uh, let's uh, look at some introductory points okay so who created Python now Python was created by Guido van Rossum excellent uh, programming language that he has built all right now Python is an object oriented programming language now what does object oriented exactly mean? Okay, now let's take a simple example uh, maybe of a banking application. Alright, now uh, you have maybe two to three customers. It's just an example, a random example. You have uh, customers and uh, each customer wants to deposit money today okay and uh, you have a certain code written so that the person can come enter their name and account number and uh, input the amount they want to deposit and accordingly you will display the details and say that yes this much has been deposited into your account now for example you have 30 customers lined up to do the same task it is not ex expected and it is not at all viable that you sit and write 30 pieces of the same code. Like for each customer you cannot have that customer 1 depositing this much amount so you will have 10 lines of code for that. Again the next customer comes again 10 lines of code. That is not at all the signs of a proper experienced programmer. So what object oriented programming does is all you have to do is create that 10 lines of code once alright and whatever or whoever comes and has to deal with that depositing task will access the same code again and again through inheritance. So basically you create objects of each customer and using that object you access that one piece of code that is a huge life-saving opportunity plus you can reuse your code again and again whenever required so this is just one as aspect of what object oriented exactly means you have many other uh, concepts in object oriented programming such as encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism, etc. All that deals with hiding data and keeping your private data safe. Alright, so uh, this is the main aspect of Python. Also Python has a very user friendly syntax. For example, let's take a print statement in Java. How will you go about it? You will say system.out.println and then you can type your statement that you want to print. How does Python help you out? All you do is say print and whatever the sentence or the number that you want to print. That's it. All you have to say is print and it does the work for you. So it's very very uh, user friendly. So beginners are very easy to you know you, you beginners can adapt to it very easily okay now uh, if you have previous programming knowledge you might have uh, used uh, curly braces to define the scope of maybe a function or uh, loops 
you always use the curly braces to define the scope all you have to do is in in python all you have to do is indent the code properly you just apply the indentation and that's it python will understand what is the scope of of your loops of your functions etc all right now that we are done understanding a few basics let's get to know where python is exactly used now whenever we think of python we might get a little inclined to thinking that python is used in robotics that is machine learning and artificial intelligence obviously that is absolutely absolutely true but you can also do many other work such as web applications software development etc all right now uh, getting into the installation process of uh, a python ide so uh, normally we use uh, idle that is ideally for a uh, python programming so let's just have a look at how to install it it's a very easy process really open up your uh, google page type uh, python dot org that's it and uh, you will get its uh, home page here go to downloads all releases okay scroll down you have many versions here all the latest and maybe a few older versions also you select any one of them maybe 3.7 3.8 uh, whatever the newest release is you can select that all right just click on it then it will show you various features of it then you can go through these uh, actually if you're new to python it's not necessary because it's going to be difficult for you to understand okay now come down to files here and you have the versions given to you now depending on your architect pc's architecture you can select the suitable version to be installed that is if you have 64 bit go for this one and if you have a 32 bit go for this one all right so just click on it you will have a pop up window here that downloads an executable file and it will sit right here at the corner left hand bottom corner let it get downloaded now since i have already downloaded previously i'm not doing it again uh, let it download uh, accept all its terms and conditions and uh, just click keep clicking next you know it's really easy and uh, let it make changes to your pc and uh, that's it your installation is done um, let me just open my here you go you have idle you can click on it see this you have this shell opening up uh, just to check if it works properly you can just uh, type a basic uh, single line code like let's say hello there all right that's it you just type it press enter here you have the output it's working fine no problem okay now actually here i will not be using idle since uh, i began working on eclipse for uh, python coding so i'll be teaching you python or uh, using the eclipse ide so let me in case you want to go with eclipse let me just show you the installation process for that also again just uh, type eclipse install install that's it just go ahead there you have you go to eclipse.org mm. that's it you have all the steps given to you you here just go through all this you can download the installer from this site they've already given it to you then just keep uh, clicking run uh, and uh, select the packages maybe just select all of them 
doesn't really uh, make a difference install whatever they expect you to you have every step written for you very clearly here just go through this site and install eclipse now let me open up my eclipse IDE. it comes with this symbol it will come in your taskbar all right so all right now uh, basically for eclipse you it'll open with a uh, uh, setup where you can run java codes so for making a python run on eclipse what you do is uh, go to your web browser again uh, then let's type in pydef eclipse installation alright you click pydef eclipse installation you have it right here then click on the first link that you get install pydef uh, now you have you get this latest version see you have latest version written here and you have this site this link given to you alright you have this link just keep this in mind we'll come back to it now go to Eclipse and uh, you go to help then you go to install new software alright now you see this uh, bar here that has that has work with written copy this site the latest version just copy it and paste it into that specific bar okay just paste it here immediately you will have pydev uh, mylin integration and pydev okay you will have these two uh, plugins that is pulled for you by eclipse just select both of them and just click next that's it in case you do not get these two options after putting in this site go to add give a name for your uh, you know the installation for your python programming maybe let's just give pydev all right let's give pydev and again copy the same link that you had uh, taken into the location bar and click add alright now since I already have Python installed I am not going to do this just click add then you will get uh, these two uh, plugins for you pulled in click on both of them uh, mylin is optional but then doesn't matter go ahead with both of them and just click next and uh, your process is done you have uh, successfully installed Python on Eclipse just relaunch Eclipse alright so, so that you can have it effectively uh, shown displayed for you properly and uh, that's it we are done with installation you can now use idle you can use Eclipse whatever depends on you your choice okay so this is the end for the first uh, lecture uh, next lecture we'll be doing basic uh, programming let's say uh, print statements input output working with a few uh, operations data types in python we'll go through all of that and uh, learn something new all right thank you see you in the next class bye bye